Julian Mack, J-U-L-I-A-N, last name Mack, like the truck, not like the computer, M-A-C-K. All right, perfect. And uh, Julian, will you uh, tell me which group, um, which group you were representing? T today I'm representing the Community Solidarity Response Network, uh, also known as the Black Lives Matter Movement, or arm of the Black Lives Matter Movement. And um, we were talking a little bit about um, you know, some of the things that you guys were posting online as far as opposing um, President Trump. I mean, what, what is the group's reaction overall? Uh, so, there's a, several concerns about um, the president coming here, and specifically this particular president coming here. Um, one, we know how divisive the president has been with his rhetoric, even recently, um, saying these impeachment hearings are similar to a civil war, right? And, and, and drawing those type of uh, comparisons to the darkest moments in American history. Um, so uh, obviously there will have to be uh, security and lots of security there. And it's important that uh, we don't drain our local resources because the divider in chief um, chooses to bring that hateful rhetoric here locally. What um what are some of the things that you guys don't like um, that he perhaps does? Yeah, so um, there's a long list of deplorable actions that Donald Trump has made throughout uh, his tenure um, as president. Um, obviously, the one that comes to the forefront of my mind is um, not following the rules of uh, checks and balances here in our United States system of government, right, by not uh, releasing the funds to Ukraine um, and, and for personal gain, right? Um, what Donald Trump is being impeached for uh, is, you know, lying and obstruction of Congress, you know, and it's not put it this way, um, Richard Nixon at this point in time, um, with this much evidence, had resigned uh, to maintain a level of dignity for the office of President of the United States. Um, I believe that it's completely reasonable for Donald Trump to resign at this point in time to maintain uh, that respect for the office of the United States uh, because it's been obvious uh, that the actions that he's made in this office um, have gone against uh, the systems of checks and balances that in fact make our country great. Um, so, you know, that's where I would start. Um, obviously, there's problems with how Donald Trump uh, has had his uh, views and derogatory comments towards women. There's problems uh, that I have with Donald Trump and his derogatory comments with people of color, telling them to go back where they came from when they're born in America. Plenty of people of color are born in America. And, and I think that he's driving up fear uh, that many of his base supporters have of America becoming a majority uh, person of color nation, right? And, and in many ways, um, he's driving up that fear into the base. and. Uh, you know, that's another reason why he's not welcome here. Um, also, the way that he mocks the disabled, you know, is something that if you did at your place of employment, you would be terminated. Um, you know, we're, we, it looks like we may have the opportunity to terminate Donald Trump from the office of the United States by way of election. Um, but, you know, I, I think at this point in time, it's important uh, that we maintain the honor and dignity of the office of the President of the United States, and he resigned right now. So you're saying, you're, you know, you're just, you guys would want him to resign already just because you know, for him to maintain his dignity and, you know, just for the nation. For the office to maintain the dignity, um, because the office of the President of the United States is not an office that should be used for personal gain. Right, regardless of your feelings on uh, the individual, um, like Joe Biden and 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 you know his dealings in Ukraine, um, what Donald Trump was doing was a personal 
was asking for a personal favor. The office of United, the, the, also, the office of United States President um, should not be used for personal favors, um, and we cannot allow that. And if we do, it opens up the floodgates for abuse of power. Um, it's the most powerful office in the nation, and if we allow that type of abuse of power to continue, um, I truly worry about the future of not only our country but humanity as a whole. Um, when, with, when, with given the amount of resources and power that we have in America and that the United States president has, um, using that for personal gain instead of service to the citizens of the United States of America can become a truly problematic action. So at this point, do you feel that his visit here would bring any Um, give me a second. <laughs> um, you know, I ask my, that's a very good question. Does Donald Trump come in here and bring anything? Um, I think the best thing that can come out of that is more unity among our community, right? People uh, who are part of the resistance of this regime, I would even call it, of Donald Trump as president of the United States, are talking to each other. Um, even if they're Republicans or Democrats, Libertarian or Green Party, because we realize it's a threat to democracy. And so what he's causing us to do as a community is unite against tyrannical power, unchecked power, so that our democracy can continue to survive. Right. I don't think he's not gonna come because he's a little with me. Um, <laughs> Are you guys planning any type of protest? What are you guys planning for that day? So, in spite of Donald Trump's abuse of power and uh, in spite of Donald Trump's abuse of power attempt to silence all those who are against his rhetoric um, and his views, uh, we still know that we live in America. We know that we have a right to freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and we will exercise that right to its fullest extent of the law outside of the Huntington Center, perhaps inside of the Huntington Center, and we will make sure that um, our views of uh, our differentiating views of the President of the United States are heard loud and clear from Toledo to around this entire beautiful planet Earth. What are you, what are some of the things that you guys are hoping, like what are some of the topics that you guys are hoping you guys would be heard on going on? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> It's hard to find a topic almost that we won't be speaking about, you know, because um, Donald Trump has had so many negative effects on so many lives of so many people in, around this entire globe, right? When, when we talk about uh, the abuse of, of uh, women, children, and men at the border, um, children in cages. Lack of criminal justice reform. Um, is it the abuse of uh, the abuse of office of the United States of President? Um, I mean, there is a long list of uh, and undermining unions, <laughs> you know. And Toledo's a union town, um, and, and Donald Trump's uh, rhetoric has not been. An administration has not been union friendly. I expect my union friends uh, to show out in force as well. You know, the most positive thing, I always believe in turning a negative into a positive. And the most positive thing that can come out of this is the unity of bringing Toledo and Lucas County together, right? Um, let's remember, although Ohio went red 
Lucas County went blue. Donald Trump and his rhetoric were not welcome here. We did not approve of that. The last election re results showed that, and this next election results will show that. Um, well, we hope it doesn't even get that far. We hope he maintains the, 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 the uh, dignity of the office of president of the United States by resigning. You know, um, because he did, he's abusing the power of that office. Um, I just, um, you know, I just hope that, I just really hope that the resources, our local, precious, precious local resources are not drained by the divider in chief coming into town and uh, us spending money um, on what should be used for roads and public safety um, to be used to basically protect uh, hate speech. You know, I think that's something I hope um, we focus on locally and our local elected officials are keeping mind. Um, many other cities, you know, I've had to put this bill and uh, honestly, I, I don't believe that the citizens of Toledo and Lucas County should have to pay for pay for um, protection of hateful rhetoric to the local. It's unacceptable. Thank you. Thank you. Stay, stay right there. Let's okay. Grab it.